Hello and welcome to PrepSpot. In this video we are going to know about one of the most ambitious renewable energy projects that has the potential to reshape not only China's energy landscape but also to serve as a global benchmark in sustainable infrastructure, the Solar Great Wall Project. This groundbreaking initiative, announced as part of China's multi-year renewable energy strategy, is set in the vast expanses of the Kubuki Desert in Inner Mongolia and aims to generate an astonishing 100 gigawatts of electricity by 2030. This capacity is expected to be sufficient to power Beijing and extend well beyond the capital, thereby addressing both domestic energy demands and contributing significantly to global renewable targets. In today's session, I will provide you with a detailed analysis of the project, discussing its background, context, technical aspects, origins, and broader implications for environmental sustainability, economic growth, and geopolitical influence. This comprehensive understanding is particularly valuable for competitive exam aspirants, as it encapsulates critical elements of international energy policy, advanced renewable technologies, and sustainable development. To set the stage, let's begin with the background and context. China is home to 1.4 billion people and has long been recognized as the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases. In 2023, it contributed about 27% of global emissions, a figure that underscores the urgency for transformative energy solutions. Over the past few decades, China has made significant strides in renewable energy, emerging as a global leader by installing a large portion of the world's solar capacity. By June 2024, China had accounted for 51% of global solar farm capacity, according to global solar power trackers. However, despite these impressive figures, the challenge of meeting ever-growing energy demands while simultaneously reducing carbon emissions remains paramount. In response, the Chinese government has launched a series of transformative projects under its renewable energy strategy, and among these, the Solar Great Wall project stands out for its sheer scale and visionary ambition. The Solar Great Wall project is designed to transform the Kubuki Desert, historically known as the Sea of Death due to its barren landscape, into a hub of photovoltaic energy generation. The project envisions constructing a massive solar installation that spans 400 kilometers in length and 5 kilometers in width, covering an area of approximately 2,000 square kilometers. By 2030, the target is to achieve a total installed capacity of 100 gigawatts, which translates into an annual electricity output of around 180 billion kilowatt hours. To put that in perspective, this capacity would not only cover the energy consumption of Beijing, which recorded a consumption of about 135.8 billion kilowatt hours in 2023, but also provide surplus power that could be exported or used to drive industrial growth in neighboring regions. Such an enormous scale of solar power generation would be transformative, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and significantly lowering greenhouse gas emissions, thus aligning with China's ambitious goal of achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. Now, why is this project in the news? The Solar Great Wall has captured global attention due to its unprecedented scale and its potential to set new benchmarks in renewable energy technology. Recent satellite images and reports from organizations like NASA Earth Observatory have documented the rapid installation of solar panels in the Kubuki Desert, with the current installed capacity reaching a hypothetical 5.42 gigawatts by December 2024. These images, combined with extensive media coverage from outlets like PV Magazine and Economic Times, have ignited widespread discussions on social media under hashtags such as Hush Solar Great Wall. Influential energy experts, including James Brody, have amplified these discussions, emphasizing the project's significance for both domestic energy security and global environmental goals. The project's announcement in early 2025 coincides with an era of increased government investment in renewable energy, with a hypothetical budget of $50 billion allocated for solar projects in 2025. This substantial funding not only underscores the importance of the Solar Great Wall but also signals China's commitment to leveraging renewable technology as a cornerstone of its economic and environmental policies. Let's delve deeper into the origins of this project. The idea of transforming deserts into powerhouses of renewable energy is not entirely new for China. The country has a rich history of constructing vast solar farms, such as the Tengar Desert Solar Park, which has already set precedence in large-scale installations. The Kubuki Desert, with its high solar irradiance, boosting around 3,100 hours of sunshine annually, and its vast, underutilized expanse, was identified as an ideal location for this project during the early 2010s. This decision was further bolstered by China's broader renewable energy strategy, as outlined in the 14th Five-Year Plan, 2021-2025, which emphasizes green energy, ecological restoration, and the transition to a low-carbon economy. The Solar Great Wall is part of this strategic vision, representing a synthesis of technological innovation, environmental stewardship, and industrial growth. From a technical perspective, the Solar Great Wall project leverages state-of-the-art photovoltaic PV, technology. The installation involves the deployment of millions of PV panels, which are designed to operate at high efficiency even in harsh desert conditions. The panels are engineered to withstand extreme temperatures, with designs optimized for ambient conditions in the Kubuki Desert, where temperatures can soar above 50 degrees Celsius. These panels are mounted on large-scale arrays that are connected to a sophisticated grid integration system, ensuring that the generated power can be efficiently transmitted to key consumption centers like Beijing. One of the innovative aspects of the project is the integration of advanced robotics and automated systems for installation and maintenance. 
Drones are used for regular inspections and cleaning of the panels to remove dust and sand, which is critical for maintaining high efficiency. This level of automation not only reduces the operational costs but also increases the reliability and lifespan of the installation. The project's economic implications are significant. With a target capacity of 100 gigawatts by 2030, the solar great wall is expected to have a transformative impact on China's energy mix. It will contribute to reducing the country's reliance on coal and other fossil fuels, thereby cutting greenhouse gas emissions significantly. According to hypothetical industry estimates, the project could reduce CO2 emissions by approximately 180 million tons annually by 2030, contributing meaningfully to the goals set out in the Paris Agreement. Moreover, the massive scale of the project is expected to create substantial economic benefits, including job creation. Projections suggest that the project could generate around 50,000 jobs directly in construction, installation, and maintenance, with additional indirect jobs being created across the supply chain. Furthermore, the project is likely to stimulate regional economic growth, particularly in Inner Mongolia, where local communities could benefit from improved infrastructure and increased economic activity. In terms of policy, the Solar Great Wall aligns with China's broader strategy of becoming a global leader in renewable energy. China already commands over 51% of the world's solar capacity, and this project is poised to further cement its position. The initiative is not only an environmental imperative but also a strategic economic move, as it positions China as a major exporter of renewable energy technology. With a potential investment of up to $100 billion in the project, the economic ripple effects are expected to be vast, ranging from technology exports to advancements in grid management and storage solutions. Such a project also serves as a model for other nations with large desert areas, demonstrating that even the most inhospitable landscapes can be transformed into productive, sustainable energy resources. Socially, the Solar Great Wall has a profound inspirational impact. It symbolizes the convergence of ancient wisdom and modern technology, as the concept of harnessing the sun's power has been a part of human civilization for millennia. The modern iteration of this idea, however, leverages cutting-edge technology to overcome traditional limitations. This not only fuels national pride but also inspires the next generation of engineers, scientists, and policymakers. Increased enrollment in renewable energy and engineering courses has already been reported, with a hypothetical 15% rise in 2025, as young students look to contribute to sustainable solutions for the future. However, the project is not without its challenges and controversies. One of the primary concerns is the environmental impact on local ecosystems. The construction of a 400 km long and 5 km wide installation in the Kubuki Desert requires significant land use, which could disrupt local flora and fauna. Environmental impact assessments are ongoing, and there are debates among environmental groups regarding potential habitat destruction versus the long-term benefits of reducing carbon emissions. Additionally, there is the technical challenge of ensuring grid stability, with such a vast and variable source of energy, integrating the solar power output seamlessly into the national grid is a complex task that requires advanced management systems and robust regulatory frameworks. Furthermore, public perception and local acceptance pose their own challenges. While the project is widely celebrated as a milestone in renewable energy, there have been instances of protests in Beijing and other cities, where environmental activists have raised concerns about the potential side effects of large-scale solar installations, such as bird strikes and changes in local climate conditions. Balancing the economic and environmental benefits with the social and ecological costs is a critical aspect of the project's ongoing implementation. The technical details of the Solar Great Wall also merit a closer look. The project involves the installation of photovoltaic panels that are optimized for high efficiency in desert conditions. These panels are capable of converting sunlight into electricity even under intense heat and low humidity. The project's design incorporates advanced materials that enhance durability and efficiency, and the use of robotics and drone technology for regular maintenance is a testament to the innovative approaches being adopted. The panels are arranged in vast arrays, connected to a high-capacity grid system that ensures continuous power flow to major consumption centers. One of the key figures in the project is the potential annual electricity generation, which is projected to reach 180 billion kilowatt hours by 2030. This not only exceeds the consumption of Beijing in 2023 but also positions the project as a critical component of China's strategy to achieve carbon neutrality. The timeline for the Solar Great Wall is also indicative of its ambitious scope. Construction is reported to have started before 2024, with significant progress documented by December 2024, when the installed capacity reached a hypothetical 5.42 gigawatts. The project is set to be fully operational by 2030, with quarterly progress reviews starting in January 2025 to monitor performance and address any technical challenges promptly. These milestones reflect not only the rapid pace of development in China's renewable energy sector but also the strong governmental commitment to achieving these goals, as evidenced by a dedicated investment of up to $100 billion and a significant budget allocation for renewable projects. In conclusion, the Solar Great Wall project in the Kubuki Desert is a monumental initiative that encapsulates China's visionary approach to renewable energy and environmental sustainability. By aiming to generate 100 gigawatts of electricity by 2030, this project is set to transform a vast desert into a dynamic energy hub that can power Beijing and beyond. 
The project stands as a testament to the potential of advanced photovoltaic technology, the innovative use of large-scale installations, and the strategic integration of renewable energy into national grids. While challenges remain, such as environmental impact, grid integration, and public acceptance, the potential benefits in terms of reduced carbon emissions, job creation, and economic growth are substantial. For competitive exam aspirants, this topic offers a rich tapestry of insights, combining elements of technology, economics, environmental science, and public policy. It illustrates how ambitious government initiatives can drive national transformation and set new global standards in renewable energy. Answer this question in comments. The correct answer will be given heart and pinned. Lastly, we just want to let you know that we are a newly emerging online platform for competitive exams. Creating educational explainer videos like these requires a lot of effort, money, and time. If you like these videos and want us to excel and create videos in all categories of competitive exams, then you can consider supporting us with a one-time donation through the Coefe platform and also by becoming a member through Patreon. This will help us create more such informative educational videos in the competitive exams space. So, one last time, subscribe and share this channel with all your friends who are preparing for competitive exams. And also, follow us on social media platforms, the links are given in the about section of the channel and also in the video description. So, see you in the next video.